I've been sat here for a couple of minutes just making sure that the game's not going to crash because I've made some changes for what we're doing today. And I'm not joking. This game, you could really easily get confused for it being a horror game. The ambient sounds in it are so much better than Call of the Wild or even The Hunter. Just listen to it for a second. Right on cue. Like, just that ambient sound, it just makes your mind wonder what the hell is making that noise. But welcome back, guys, to the Hunter Primal. We are back. Now, there's a couple of things I want to address, and I'm going to do it as quickly as possible. First things first, I asked you all after the previous episode whether you wanted to see custom loadouts or you wanted to see the grind. Majority of people want to see the grind, so that's what we're doing today. And in preparation for that, let's go into the inventory real quick. This should be exactly the same or near enough the same as what we had at the end of episode one. So account balance, the level, the only thing that's different will be the survival bonus. The weapons and stuff, I think there's just one shotgun that I'm missing because I couldn't actually insert that for some reason, but near enough everything else should be the same. I've made obviously some changes by not having the shotgun. I've given myself a few more arrows, but I mean, we're near enough the same as everything else. So we're picking up from the first episode. Second thing, where have I been? Because it's been like a week since the last upload. And all I can say is I genuinely apologize, guys. For some reason, on Monday last week, I woke up with the most intense back pain I've ever experienced in my life. I'm absolutely fine. I was worried at one point that I had like a fracture or something, or a hairline fracture in my spine. I was genuinely worried. So I did go and see the doctor. Everything seems okay. I was put on really, really, really strong medication. To the point of me having this medication just completely knocked me out within like an hour of taking it and even then being on that medication trying to sit up record videos or even edit videos was just the most intense pain that i can't even begin to describe to you all right now if you do suffer from back pain which i haven't got a history of then you guys will know or if you've ever hurt your back or you've ever like played in sports or something and somebody's need you in the back and you get that like muscular pain it was that, but times that with muscle cramps, and I don't understand what it was. I don't even think my doctor did, but the good news is, without me going on forever, is I'm fine, everything is good. Thank you for everyone who sent the messages, if you did know about it, especially the people in the Discord. I got some really nice messages from you guys, and I did see all of them. But we're back, and we're going to take some dinos down. So, I really don't know <laughs> which way to go, because where we ended up in the last episode, we were like over here today oh another thing which i couldn't get rid of was these weird icons i don't know how to get rid of them i've messed around with the game files so much that i've just got it working to the point where we can play today so i don't want to mess around with it too much but i think what we should do because i've always wanted to check out the north side of the map so i think we should head up there let me just put a dot down there oh also i did see in the last episode those kind of things that we're finding like the uh, the hunter mates that we're holding up right now those things that we're finding, they actually do say more stuff on them. So if I do come across them, you guys have told me to pick them up so I can read what's going on. It's going to take me a hot minute to get used to all the controls again. It does feel good being back in the game, though. I'm not going to lie, right? Are we actually heading the right way? Where's the dot? Okay, it's that way. And we've got some crates over this side, too. I'm going to take my time with this. One thing I've got to remember, which is what I was just going to say to you guys. Oh, there is a structure down there. So it isn't the same spot. One thing I was going to say to you guys is we do have to take things a lot slower now because I do want to take my time. I want to play this almost like a survival game, if that makes sense. Obviously trying to grind up to get those points to get all the levels and things and all the nice weapons that we need. But I don't just want to run around and just keep getting eaten by raptors and rexes and stuff. I want to play this as sensible as possible. Like we're in Jurassic Park, you know? <laughs> For the dinosaur nerds out there, you know where I'm coming from. Look at this area though, this is a really cool spot. I don't know what they are, like just communication relays and stuff. Oh, also, I have been catching up on everything, but I did get a heads up from about three or four people after episode one, when I was talking about the lore. And people have said not to worry too much about it because it will reveal something that I might not want to know. Okay, clothing, 308 anti-personnel rifle. That looks like the dart rifle from Jurassic World. Merc grunt shirt. What's actually see the one thing that I'm not too sure of with this as well is we can't actually see the stats of this stuff So I have no idea like what kind of clothing is better. I mean, I would imagine the stuff that's more camouflage, but I mean you never know Major Tyson log entry X the executive board is convinced that there at least has been some activity here 
that is not of human origin. I remain skeptical. So are most in the security division. Well, I guess we'll mosey around here for a while and pretend to be looking for evidence. Wait, what are they talking about? The executive board is convinced that there at least has been some activity here that is not of human origin. They're talking about dinosaurs, right? Because if they're talking about extraterrestrials, that changes everything. I don't think it would be, though. I'm almost positive they're talking about dinosaurs. Okay, so quick update. I did switch out the clothing that I was wearing. I've gone for the camouflage just because if I'm a dinosaur, I'm not seeing this before I see a silver shirt. So I got rid of that one to save on space. And I also switched out the gloves. And there should be another crate close by before we start heading north. And then we really need to get into dropping some dinos for points. Okay, this is trouble. You guys know what happened last time. But... These things can give me a crazy amount of points. So, oh, look at that as well. Is that a planet or a moon? I think it's a moon. God, it can look so good from certain angles, this game. Oh, there we go. It's back. Oh, that was a hit. I absolutely hit it then. Should be good on ammunition. Come on, you come down. Looks like it's doing a strafing run. It goes wide like that and then it comes straight back down. I'm hoping that's not a Rex. And it's just a Triceratops that's close. That's another hit. That's another hit. It's down. Okay, we're off to a good start. Where's that Triceratops though? Switch to something close quarters. Oh, there it is. I see it. So not only did we absolutely nail a Quetz with the bow and arrow, which was a little bit more badass, I'm not going to lie. We've also taken it down with the 308, which is the first time I was using this rifle. Let's reload it. I really like that as well, the way the mag's at the side. It was 1,125 credits, so 187 XP. We didn't hold integrity with this. Maybe because it was three hits, but all of them were in the body. I don't think I hit anything significant, but I mean, I'll take it. There is... There's nothing that I can be mad at with that. Nailing a Quetz out of the sky with a 308. Right, so let's start heading. I did want to test the 308 on a Triceratops, but that's kind of giving me a rough idea of where it is. It's not overly powerful. I don't think it's going to be anything like what we used in the last episode. So yeah, I think we should just keep heading north, see what we can see. We're kind of doing two things here. We're doing a little bit of exploration. At the same time, we do need to start the grind of getting points. <sighs> I keep finding myself checking my six every couple of seconds because you just never know what can run up on you in this game. And it's happened before. I think it happened in the last episode when we went to go and see the Triceratops and that raptor came. Well, we knew it was in the tree line, but even so, I didn't hear it coming in. And that's two. Triceratops. Right? Listen. You guys just heard that weird beeping sound? That's what I was talking about before with the weird noises. There's definitely a growl and I'm not hearing any big impact from anything heavy, so let's say it's a trike. There's a crate down here, so we are going to keep heading this way. Yeah, this looks like a swamp. Oh, if there's any, like, water dinos or anything. Raptors. I know that sound. We've just got to be really, really careful now. Suddenly everything has just come alive. You hear this? Is this a raptor egg? Alright, let's pick it up. 20% scent camo. Okay, nice. That's masking our scent for a little bit. Is that what it was that it was pointing us to? No, it's not. Okay, we've got to keep going then. I wonder if that is a raptor's egg then. I mean, I keep making references to Jurassic Park. I mean, this one specifically is what well, would be Jurassic Park 3. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it, with the eggs? Spoilers if you haven't seen it. They do something with eggs. 
I actually thought that bit was really, really cool, the way they did that. Okay, we got what we need. Slowly make our way back up the hill. It's so crazy to me how the raptors haven't come in because, I mean, you guys have been with me every step of this. Every time I've heard that noise, it's usually an indicator. Basically, just to let yourself know, you are going to be fighting with a pack of raptors. In this instance, though, they haven't. It looks like they've moved away from this area. Maybe because of the time of day? It was teetering around 4 a.m. And right now, it's like 5 so maybe they've moved around. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm saving on ammunition and I'm not tangling with a bunch of raptors. So <laughs> we're just going to keep going. I think what my plan will be is to kind of do what we have been doing. Kind of checking out these peninsulas like this one here. This one. The big one over this side. Oh, there is something over there. You guys catch that? There's a cement wall down there. Okay, we're going to be checking that out. So where is that then? I was just heading towards this, so that's down there, isn't it? Right, let's go and see. Look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> like, for such an old game, it still looks great. Oh, there are raptors around here. I've just seen the tail of one over that side. I thought I could hear growling. Oh, look, there's footsteps as well. Is it Utah? No, that's picking up the Triceratops. There's 100% raptors over here. Oh, there we go. Is that a white one? I kind of do want to tangle with them because I do have the health to put back into my character. And while I've got that health, I want to try and take advantage of taking some stuff down, you know? I've got to get that XP from somewhere. That noise, though. <laughs> like, I'm going in confident, and as soon as I hear that growl... All right, there's one. What level are you? Come on. You are a male 420 to 460, and there's another one back there. Can I get a spot on that? That one looks like it's got red eyes. That's another male, too. Right, I think what I'm going to do, I'm tempted to take a shot with the 308. Okay, that definitely hit. That absolutely hit. I wonder if they'll see me if I stay prone. Come on, go down. That is a big round that I just slammed straight through your chest. You need to hit the floor. Oh, I don't like this. Not one bit. They've just moved from over on the right there, being wide out in the open, to giving themselves plenty of cover here. And I'm being really stupid now, moving in towards them, but... There we go. There's one. You give me a shot, I'm going to take it. Coming in. Go down. Come on, go down. Go down. I nailed it. Two shots with the 308. There we go. It's down. Okay, so that was two shots with the 308. Actually, was that the same one as I hit the first time? Didn't get too much in the way of damage to me. So we got one. That's the first Raptor. So what do we get with that? We only held 50% integrity. Two body, two hip. So it went straight through there. But okay, I hit it three times. So there was two with the 308 and one with the shotgun. So that wasn't the original one I hit. Utah Raptor Roman. Lungs and heart. Wait, I hit the lungs and heart with that first shot. Held 41 to 57. So it does give a readout then. So if we want to track an animal or a dinosaur, then we absolutely can. This is the one that we should have hit. Okay, 100% integrity, one body and one right lung. So 872, 156 XP, one hit. What can we do with trophy shot? Let me see if I remember how to do this from classic. So if I grab, <laughs> if I grab you like this and if I let go, can I not bring you over this way? It's always been really weird. This I did try it when I was on classic with the werewolves and stuff, but... <laughs> I could never manipulate it to do what I wanted to. I mean, if anything, what we can see from this is just the sheer scale of these raptors compared to my character. Look at that. Its head alone is almost bigger than my character. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that because I'm going to be here all day. So, I mean, we'll just take it for what it is. All right, what we got? 
And he, oh, we've got the 44. Oh, the 0. 0.44. Nice. Okay, so can I actually replace that with it? I put you there. Oh, we can. So I can equip all three of them. Right, so throw you on this and add four of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a badass gun. Look at this. With an actual scope on the top as well. It looks so cool. Again, though, I have no idea of the stopping power. I'm just hoping that it, that it does the job. Okay, so we've got a decision to make. Obviously, I'm going to be keeping that hat. That was got to go. And this one is going on because a boonie hat over everything. If you're an armor player, then you know what I'm talking about. But we do have a decision. 308 anti-personnel rifle or the 308 marksman rifle. I really don't know what's better. I think this one looks cooler because of the way the actual mag goes on the side of the gun. But something tells me this is probably more accurate. I've used this before. You know what? We're just going to stick with this because I've used this one at least once with Taco. And I think it was, yeah, it was the last episode, wasn't it? So yeah, we played around with that. Let's just leave that there. In fact, do I have to take it out in order for it to... Let me actually pick it up and then I can drop it on the floor and hopefully it'll despawn. Okay, so if I remember right, for a second I thought we could. Yeah, we can't go out into the ocean. Could you guys imagine how cool it would look? If you saw like a Mosasaur, just the back of it, just go out of the water and back in. Just on the horizon. God, that would look sick. Is that a helipad? Definitely look, I mean, probably a little bit small. Maybe for the um, little birds or something. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I've picked up a rock now. That's the first one I've seen in the entire game. So apparently if I press F, that should act as like a distraction now to get away from the dinosaurs or basically lure their attention in a different direction. I need to keep my eye out for that stuff. I always wondered that. On the actual keybinds, it says throw rock. And that was the first one that I've seen. Not for not looking, just because I've not really noticed any of them. Oh, wait, there's another one. Now that I've picked one up, I'm noticing them everywhere. Okay, this could get really dangerous now. There's like three or four raptors. It's definitely a pack over there. What size are you? The color of this one that I'm looking at right now is actually really nice. 500 to 540, so he's a big guy. There's one of them over there, which I think is one of the uncommon ones. He's a red one. Look, that one's got like a yellow tinge to it. All right, I'm going to take a shot at one of them. This guy looks a lot smaller than the others. Does it actually say if it's un uncommon or not? 380 to 420. No, you can definitely see that. That guy's a lot smaller than these ones over here. Like this one, for example. I'm going to try and get a lung shot on this one. I'm going to have to eyeball the living hell out of it, though, because I don't have a scope. So let's see what we can do. Look how cool that is, though. I can Oh, my God. Actually, no, that's a really bad idea. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six raptors there. That is a massive pack. There's one there just staring. Two... Three, four, five, and there was one. Oh, wait, there might be one back there. There was definitely six of them, though. Look, you can see it from here. It gets rid of the grass. That isn't Velociraptors, is it? That's Utah's. Okay, well, I mean got a compound here so we can take a little bit of shelter what is it yep utahs all right let me see if we can use these bunkers get a couple of shots off i should have a fair amount of rounds to use so i'm not too worried about it there we go i saw you over there all right let's switch to this one then this is actually gonna be pretty cool because we do have the cover now we've not got really too much to worry about i can Line up the shot. Side of the tree. Here we go. And I hit the bunker. Of course I did. When everything is going my way, the game's just like, nope. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. I completely whiffed two shots, but that one absolutely nailed it. It looks like it either went through both lungs or completely destroyed its spine. Is there anything else? There we go. So it's just behind that tree. I was just about to go down and claim it. And I heard that weird noise. It's so strange because they've got a really identifiable sound with that low groan that they do. It's almost like a growl. And then they do this. 
And I've said it before, it's like they talk to each other. You know, like it is in the movies. It's like they're, you know, they're just chattering away. Like Alan Grant says. I think that was a hit. All right, what do we get? 902165, 100%. Where do we hit it? Oh, we did. Oh, we hit it in the spine and the lung. Score of 601, and it was a 472 kilogram. All right, nice. Okay, so we got the riot shotgun that we were missing, and we got some Merc Navy gloves, but I don't think I'm going to swap them out. I'm going to keep these ones. Some extra ammo, too, for the 308. And here's a PDA. Right, what does it say? Got to be quick. Pasily Pavlov, log entry 90. Whatever crashed here was not a simple meteor. I do not care what Professor Kim says. My reading show traces of metal alloys that are previously unknown to us. Wait a second. So this just wasn't a planet that was similar to Earth in stages of having dinosaurs. This something something's happened. Oh, that's I love that. I'm so happy that there's something like of a twist. With the storyline, I really want to find it out. It's actually a really good thing then that we didn't dive into the actual lore. And those little clues that you get from the PDAs, it's just so cool to be able to read that. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to slowly work my way up to the one that I saw over this side. I'm hoping that I did hit that one that was far out and it's down by now. Come on, give me something really cool. suppose I can load up that shotgun as well. Right, what we got? We got some Morn Merc Navy gloves, Merc Navy cap, Red Eye shotgun sight. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. And we got some more slugs. I don't think I need the rest. I'm going to leave that. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, we're leveling up. What actual level are we now? 9,418 credits with level 5. And we do have the survival bonus. Picking up again. Oh, there it is. That was a hit. Okay, switch to shotgun. Does that mean it's down? Okay, can we see anything? Right, there's a velociraptor over there. There's no sign of my Utah. And I absolutely heard one at the top of that hill. So my thinking right now is it's kind of stupid just to keep going in that direction and have like four velociraptors come after me because I'm going to have to take them down. As you've seen before, they latch onto me and they try and just claw my face off. Not to mention if I run into another big pack of raptors like we, we saw before, I just heard like something breathe. If I run into another big pack of raptors like we saw before, then I'm just going to spend ammunition and a lot of it. And I don't really have loads to spare. So let's head back to where we just were. Let's see if I did get that one which we took a shot from from far away. Are they following? Yeah, I don't actually think we took that thing down. I'm not even seeing any markers or anything to indicate that we actually had a hit on it. I'm almost positive though that when we took the shot, there was something that flared up when it looked like the bullet impacted. Maybe not. Maybe I just hit the dirt or something. Either way, though, I mean, we still got one rapture and we've got more in the way of firepower now. Is there anything over there? This actual whole area, like these bits here, down in the water, this bit looks really, really cool. These hills are a little bit worrying, though, because if something is above us, it's really hard to see up because they are quite steep. So what time of day is it? It's going to be getting dark soon, isn't it? All right, so I think what the plan is then, we're going to hunker down here for the night. And then in the next episode, I think we're going to continue on in that direction. Also, I want to know if we can actually get to the top of that volcano. Because I've seen a structure up there. I don't know if we can see it. I remember looking last time before we logged out. There was like stairs or something on one side or like debris. So we need to know if we can actually get to the top of that. But let me see if we can get inside and take some cover. We've already got the PDA. Oh, also, that weird like cryptic message of something crashing. Which that person didn't think it was just a meteor. It was something else. And the weird message that we got before of something else happening. Or beings, I guess. I think it said. I could be mistaken. But it said something really cryptic. 
which made it sound like it wasn't just the dinosaurs that were on this planet, or the dinosaurs and the humans, but you guys know I love stuff like this, so I'm absolutely going to find out what's going on. All right, so let's take a quick look. So account balance 9,418, level 5, and a survival bonus of 1.12. We're rocking the crowd control shotgun. Slot number 2 is the anti-personnel rifle, which is a 308, and the .44 disciplinary handgun. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I've shot one round with this. And that's a 700 ammo. All right, let me just break that out for a second. And then... Oh, that's got some kick behind it. All right, I don't want to waste too much of the ammunition. But I think, guys, for now, we are going to end it here. If you do enjoy this, please drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.